Good day guys, Bing here and today we're going to talk about uh, title boundary. Okay, so no more adaptive families. Okay, let's start. So first, um, let's create a project. So usually when we create when we try when we create a title boundary, so go to site, so the property lines, there are two options for us. Okay, so um, uh, I'm going to show you the second option, so create by sketching first. But usually you won't you won't just randomly create a title boundary. Will you? So usually this is used if if you have some title. So for example, this is an example of a title boundary uh, in Australia. And so it's it's actually a, a PDF file. So let me just uh, I already download this family. Oh, sorry, this PDF. So we can insert and we can import this PDF into your into the project. And here we have a few different options. So this will uh, depending on how. Um, the quality you need. So for, for example, if you want to, to print this PDF, so you better choose slightly higher. But for me, I, I think uh, if I just use this as a reference, I'll just pick 150. That's good enough to uh, show on the screen. So I'll place it here. So now, after import this PDF, the first thing I will do is I will always uh, of course you just need to uh, check the scale first okay so how to check so you just look at this so this tells us this is five meter this is five meters long so what I'm going to do is select this PDF and here so first enable snaps so if this is a, a vector PDF if, and, and once you click on email snap, snap, you will be able to snap onto the point. So for, for example, I draw a line. So you will see, you can snap onto all these lines. Okay. So now I'm going to just draw a line from this end to this end. And Revit will tell me what the length, the distance is. So five meter. Oh, actually. Let me just ch change it to something else. One to one hundred six eight, so which means this should be two meter. Yes, very close. Um, not exactly, but yeah, no, 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 that should be close enough. Uh, let me just check something else. So how about this one? So. 3223 32.23 if I draw a line from here to to here and click on this line so that's 3223 it's only 0 0.5 millimeter difference so that should be good enough so now the next thing so once the scale is correct and then just pin it okay so oh sorry you just move it to the location so wherever you need it to be so for example you have um, you have a map or you have a locality map uh, of the side and then you just move this on to match the map and then ping it okay so you won't accidentally move move it okay so yeah so some um, yeah, I've learned this from uh, from my work. So yeah, that's very you know bad experience. <laughs> anyway, so now let uh, we can do that uh, property lines. So so click on the property line. So we can create by sketch. Oh sorry, before this, and one more thing. Okay, so check the. Uh, north arrow. Usually, uh, most of the time, the north arrow, the north on the survey drawings are pointing to the up. But if the, it's not, you just need to rotate it so it's pointing north. 
Okay, so now the nose is up to the page, so we can create this uh, title boundary. So go to site property line, so use the create by sketching, and you can pick line. So so you can try to pick. So you will see uh, sometimes you won't pick the that uh, boundary, but you can tab use tab to pick use, uh, to switch the lines. And also, just when you pick lines, very be very careful. So, because uh, if if you're picking a, a PDF like this, so you will notice that the line is actually not center to the uh, the the image. Okay, so see it's offset a little bit. But if it's DWG, that's uh, that's easier. And also, oops. See when sometimes when when you see this, uh, most likely you're picking the wrong one. So let's do it again, and this one, yeah. And also, uh, uh, once you fin uh, pick all the lines, just finish, and that's it. So now if I H H, and if you T G T G tag, and you will be able to tag all these uh, lines. Okay, so. HR and let's tag this. Um, actually, okay, I think there must be some setting. So, if you look at this, because depending on the diff, um, different system we use, I think we uh, probably different country use different system. Even in Australia, we, we, we will have all different. Um, type of you know look at just look at these angles so in on this title document or survey drawing so the angles from uh, 0 to 360 but if I tag you will see it's always a angle between 0 and 90 so this is actually because of the setting. So if you go to site and hunt here, so this setting, so degree from north or south, usually when you see uh, there's a N, S, or b before or after the the angle, that means that that's using it is using a degree from north south. But in this case. It's using this degree, okay? Degree. So if I click OK, and once again, if I tag TG, so you will see the angle will match this. See, 200 something, 300. Very close, okay? So, yeah, so this is the same thing. Let me do it again. Site. Go here and this setting. Okay, so this is the first option. So property line use sketch. So now I'll just copy this uh, title uh, survey join here, and then we're going to pretend this is just a, a document a, a, on a paper. There's no digital uh, no data. Uh, D DWG or PDF. Okay, so now you look you look at uh, you, you're looking at a paper a piece of paper and trying to draw this title boundary. So what you need to do is go to site property line. So this time use this uh, create by entering distance and bearings. Okay, so first um, let me show you again so currently it's all, all, all good so distance bearing okay so the bearings start from 0 to 360 but if if you see this so we need to change the setting back let me change this setting back to degrees from north south okay and then let's create another use this first one now you will see this north east okay so this is used if you see there's north, north, south, east, west on your title. Okay. 
So in this case, there's no north, south, east, west. So it's only angle. So we need to go back here, change the angle display to uh, degrees and OK. So now go back to title, uh, sorry, property line, title boundary, and use the first option. So now we just need to use the, the length, the distance, and the bearing, the direction, the angles. So let's start. So uh, usually, so you just need to pick a, a point. OK, so you just need to pick a point. Uh, what uh, I like to pick, is, I, I always like to pick a, a le least uh, less important part because uh, most of the time, so some old, old title document, uh, the boundary won't match at exactly. It can be, um, so it can be, I'll just show you. So sometimes you have a title boundary like this, and then although you type in everything correctly, so it will be look, it will look like this. Okay, so that's why I will always start from a corner, which is not that important. So in this case, I guess, uh, so this is the front, this is, so front setback, setback here. Um, I don't know, maybe this point, I think. This point, because you, you were never gonna build anything here, but you will have probably have a building there, building there with setback. So this is uh, far away from the building. You might have the building close to this boundary. So maybe I will just pick this point. But yeah, depending on your, uh, you, your you, you choose your points. Okay, so just, yeah. Okay, so let's start. So point a property line, create the first one. Okay, so first point here. So first we need to go up, okay, go up. And also another thing, so in here, going up, so if you draw, I'll quickly explain, okay, so the, if you draw a circle, and now imagine you are in the middle of this circle, and then so from this point, if you go up there, so the 39 degree is the degree from angle from this direction, so the north direction to this one, so roughly here. And when when you do it the other way, so if you start from this point, if you want to go from this point to that point, it's not 39 degrees anymore. Okay, it becomes so this direction. So it's go that way, right? So go from the center to here, and then the angle of this becomes this. Oh, actually, I can't do it this way. It's, it's from here to here, which means it's become 39 degrees plus 180 degrees. It becomes 219 degrees. Okay, so yeah, because a lot of time when you, especially when you have multiple title boundary, so you will see one of the title. So for example, this becomes suddenly this become this degree become 93 again and when you try to do your title boundary so you will never get uh, this shape it will go start from here 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 and suddenly it go to there there so you just need to uh, do it yourself just plus 93 plus 180 so it will go that way and close this okay so Okay, so that's enough explanation. Let's um, finish this. So first, from this point, distance, 3.5. Okay, another one. 3.5 is meter. Here, distance, 3.5. No, it's not going to work because this is millimeter. So you need to type in 3500. Okay, so yeah, this is the one mis mistake we everyone did when everyone you know when they first start including me 
Uh, okay, so 39, 38, 39, 38, so 39 space 38, insert. Okay, so 29.460, and 93 space 58 space 10, insert 5 meter. So 1A3 space 58. 5 meter 93 space 58 10.5 meter 1a 358 10 32 23 0 uh, 2a 3 10 so 1 Three one oh sorry three four five space one seven four zero. Okay, so usually when you uh, if you do it correctly, most of the time it will it will have this closed. Okay, so closed and okay. So now we can go place this onto the end point of this tidal boundary. So just make sure you pick the wrong a uh, right correct point here. So now let's try to tag it. So you will see this one match match the the reading here exactly. So pre the, 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 the last one even we pick the line so you will see a, a will be slightly different. So one seven four eight. So um if if you want to be accurate using the first option, which is use the uh, table, is the best option. Okay, pick line always. Some, uh, sometimes you will get slightly different readings. So for the A, so oh sorry, A three fifty A. So you will see that's one degree difference. So this depending on uh, or depending on um, probably depend. Depends on how the your the survey uh, people do their drawing. <laughs> Maybe they just do a text and we just align. They are not matching. Anyway, that's 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 it. Uh, I think that's enough for today. So um, today we talked about the property line and two different options and how to do it. Okay, so. Um, Maybe to tomorrow. Let's have a look at tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? Um, maybe tomorrow I'll talk about a little more, uh, some more little tips about tidal boundary and how we work with tidal boundary. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.